Jesus commended his spirit, we commit ours. Kind of a unique little study here. Uh, turn in your Bible to Luke chapter 23, verse 46. Only the one time that this appears in the King James Bible, and I think it's quite significant because the new versions change this verse. Luke chapter 23 and verse 46. And when Jesus had cried with a loud voice, he said, Father, into thy hands I commend my spirit. And having said thus, he gave up the ghost. Now, if you use pretty much any new version that I've looked at, they all change commend to commit. He said, well, it means the same things. If you look, look up the uh, Webster's 1828 dictionary, commend, one of the definitions is commit. So commend, commit, interchangeable. Not so fast. Um, you see, they just didn't have the word commit in the King James, you know, the King James translators didn't know what the word commit was or something. Uh, not true. Psalm 31. Psalm 31. We'll go back there. God used the translators of the King James Bible back there in 1604 to 1611, but the reality of it is it's God that wrote this book. Used man and everything, of course, but uh, God inspired them, I believe. Not in the same way that he inspired the original autographs, obviously, but uh, he made a much better book right here than the original autographs. I've done plenty of videos on that. We don't have the original autographs. If we did, most of us couldn't even read them. And you look at the fruit that this King James Bible has produced down through the centuries, uh, I, I think it can stand on its own. Okay, Psalm 31 and verse 5 says, right here, uh, Into thine hand I commit my spirit. Thou hast redeemed me, O Lord, God of truth. Uh, was Jesus redeemed? No. Are we redeemed? Yes. Did David need to be redeemed? Yes. So, I believe that there's a difference there on purpose. Why? Psalm 31 is a man having to commit his spirit to the Lord when he dies. Psalm, or, uh, Luke 23 is God, the Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord of glory, and he is commending his spirit to the Father. Okay? Let me illustrate this with a very simple little way of saying this. Uh, you go into a hospital... And two guys walk into a hospital with their friend, and they go in and they say, um, "Hi, I'm I'm here. I'd like to commend my friend into the hospital or to the hospital here. Okay, I want to commend my friend to the hospital. What are the what will the staff think there? They will think, oh, is he a neurosurgeon? Is he some kind of a great guy or whatever else? You're commending him. You know, in the military, you have letters of commendation. It's a good thing you're being promoted but what happens the other guy comes in and he has his friend and he says hi i'd like to commit my friend to the hospital <laughs> not quite as good not quite a good thing oh okay we'll go get the straight jacket and put him in a nice padded room someplace um yes there is a difference between commend and commit and i just find it so interesting that the king james bible makes a clear difference it's not that the word commit wasn't available in 1611 and they had to use some archaic word. They used commend for Jesus and commit for the spirit of David. Hmm. Kind of an interesting thing there. Uh, I just, you know, there's a lot of people out there that just like to attack this King James Bible. But the fact of the matter is, and they'll go to the Hebrew or Greek or what's the text or whatever. You just look at the text and you, you start to think about it and you reason with this thing and you think, huh, yeah, that would make more sense that God manifest in the flesh would commend his spirit. He wouldn't have to commit his spirit to the Father. He just says, I commend my spirit. And yet the new versions, all of them say, commit my spirit, making Jesus a man. Huh. Fully God and fully man or whatever else they say. Oh, you know, he was took on the nature of a man or, or, you know, in terms of, they use human, not a King James Bible word. But they're always trying to tear him down. Maybe not a real 
outright attack on Jesus Christ, but I think it is a very subtle, very little satanic, little subtle attack on Jesus. That we're, our King James Bible, God's holy, pure, perfect word says, Jesus says, I commend my spirit. I'm dying, and he gives up the ghost. Spirit and ghost there are interchangeable. And yet the new versions say, oh, I commit my spirit. Hmm, like David did. King David, I commit my spirit. Oh, Jesus is just like King David. So uh, just another example where the depth and understanding of not just the King James translators, but the word of, but the Holy Ghost um, inspiring those guys to write things down in a certain way. And when you actually look into the, the depths of it, where, you know, most of the hirelings out there, they would read it and they'd say, commend or commit, you know. No, it's not commit in the New Testament. It's commend. It's written that way for a purpose. So just take this book as it is and say, Lord, reveal things to me from your word. I'm not going to change it. I'm not going to doubt this blessed book. Um, I suggest you do that. King James Bible. That's your standard, okay? Thank you for watching.